सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल ओवर द पास्ट फ्यू वीक्स आई हैव रिसीव मल्टीपल मैसेज ओवर द लिंकड इन अबाउट गेट एग्जाम लाइक वेन शुड आई स्टार्ट गेट प्रिपरेशन विच रिसोर्स शुड आई फॉलो एंड हाउ शुड आई बी कंसिस्टेंट ऑलमोस्ट थ्री ईयर्स अगो आई वॉज एग्जैक्टली एट द सेम प्लेस फुल ऑफ डाउट फुल ऑफ कन्फ्यूजन एंड आई आस्ट सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन टू ऑलमोस्ट एवरी पॉसिबल सीनियर लकली अ फ्यू ऑफ द सीनियर्स responded back and helped me and their guidance helped me shape my journey today in this video i'll share my gate journey ex experience and how i got into india's number one research institute sc bangalore for my masters so let's begin i first decided to give gate exam when i was in my second year that time my focus was to get into psu job but then covid happened everything shifted online we all went back to our homes college lectures were happening online and during this time i started missing the college life i kept on watching various blogs of top institutes of india and i realized that i really wanted to study there that j dream of studying in top college of india came back alive again and that's when i shifted my focus for the gate exam from psu job to pursue mtech in top college of india so when my third year began i took online coaching to prepare for the gate examination so i wasn't very serious honestly and i was and i was able to complete only two subjects in first few months and that's why i skipped the gate attempt in my third year after that college placement started and i began preparing for software roles luckily i got placed in one of the uh, software role companies initial uh, in the initial phase of placement itself and then i gave sat for few more interviews for more better opportunities but didn't get selected that's when i realized now i should go back to the gate exam because that's what that is what my main target and so i started preparing more seriously first i revised the subjects network theory signal and system which i completed earlier and then started with control system analog electronics digital electronics i watched the lectures of all these subjects prepared notes and solved the questions during the lectures and also tried pyqs but not very much but pyqs i did not attempted with much seriousness so after completing all this i started giving test series but my performance was not very good and just before gate examination something bad happened i got covid so that completely ruined my last month revision and i realized that gate 2022 wouldn't go as expected even with whatever preparation i have done i gave gate 2022 exam and as expected result was not very good i was able to barely cross the cut off marks in that year once i got the result at the same time i have to start my training in of the job and also college final project was coming up so initially for the first few months after gate 2022 exam i was not able to study this thing but after my college project was over and uh, my training in the job completed i started getting more time because my job was completely work from home so i again started my preparation this time before beginning the preparation itself i made a clear list of all the subject and topic that have, that i have already covered and uh, completed their video lectures and the ones that are remaining so for the subjects which i have already covered i started focus more on problem solving practicing more and more questions and pyqs and for the others i started watching those lectures like edc communication system and the remaining to topics of all the subjects which i had left earlier so this in this attempt i started the giving test series a bit earlier around mid of october so when i started my giving test series subject wise test series performance was not very good but those test helped me realize the weak topics in a particular subject and so that i can focus on more better revision so test series really helped me in improving my weak areas but when i thought that i am completely i am i am preparing well i gave my first full length test and i was totally disheartened to see that i got only 2 3 marks more than what i got in final exam of gate 2022 i felt that all my hard work in the last few month went wasted 
but since not much time was left in the exam i somehow took one day break and started doing revision again so the best part of my gate journey was that i was having one friend along with me who was preparing for the same exam so we used to discuss after every test that we give what were the mistakes we have made whether it was conceptual or silly mistake and how to avoid these mistakes in the real time exam this strategy really helped and i started seeing some improvements in the full length test and also got my confidence then gate 2023 exam day came we went and we gave the exam and finally i was able to score 51.33 marks and get an all india rank of 900 so after seeing the score card my first reaction was finally i'll get into top nits or tier 2 iits for sure but i actively participated in the counseling process applied in all the iits top iits it's and isc as well and with god's blessing i got into i got offered from isc bangalore for mtech in ec today i am proud to say that i am an alumnus of isc bangalore and if i see, look back all the hard work paid off to sum up i'd just like to say that my journey was not very perfect i almost failed in my first attempt i skipped a year i was full of self doubt during the college placement time but what made the difference was the attitude of not giving up and also believing in that what if in the end everything works so if you are preparing remember you don't need to be perfect every day you just need to keep moving forward and believe in yourself so i hope my journey gives you some clarity if you have any doubts you can drop them in the comments if you found this video helpful please do like share and subscribe that will motivate me to share more such experiences thank you